hello we're back again for this is video number four in the series for making an art paper doll to put in your art journal the difference between this and a regular paper doll why it's called an art doll paper art doll is because all the fine detailing that you add that makes it really artistic and something special that you created so now i'm going to add the fine details one of them i already did a couple here with the hands and I've added this dangly two-sided spinning bee that she's holding in one hand and some flowers in the other hand. So those are fun details to add. Next I'm going to take a couple of bee stamps and some Ranger Archival ink in black and some white cardstock and I'm going to stamp three bees. And then I'm going to color them. I printed an extra one onto a piece of that cardboard. Since the cardboard was white, it'll make this one sturdy. If it's a detail that you're going to just glue down onto the top of your image, it doesn't need to be backed in cardboard. You only need that if it's going to be a movable element or something um, that needs to be more sturdy. So the other pieces are just on cardstock, and I'm just going to trim them out because they're going to get added to her body. I've cut out my stamped bees. Two of them are just regular on cardstock, and the other one is on cardboard. So one is really stiff and it's on cardboard, and the other bees, I'm sorry, three bees that were just on cardstock. And I fussy cut them out. So what I'm going to do now is decorate my girl, my bee girl here, and start putting these in place. And I think what I want to do with this little guy, I think I'm going to glue him to her wrist and it doesn't have to be on thick cardboard because it's just a little decorative element. I want to make it look like this cute little bee landed on her wrist. So I'm going to just glue him right there into place on her wrist. And then same with this bee. I think I'm going to take this bee and just glue it into place just flat as you normally would regular pieces of cardstock. And this third one, I think, oops, that's the cardboard one. This third one, I'm going to add a uh, pop-up, some pop-ups behind it to make it pop off the body. These are pop-up squares, so it's like foam core, and it's sticky on both sides, and uh, card makers use these to uh, raise images on their cards when they're doing handmade cards. I think I got these at the dollar store, but they can be cut into um, smaller pieces, and I think I'm going to do that with this. Cut this in half, make it skinny, and then you just peel it off and stick it on, and then peel off the other side. And then you can put it into place, having your image be raised above the rest of the images on the page. So once they're on, you just peel the little backs. You've probably seen this a million times, but if not, I'm showing you. And when you stick that on, It now raises that image up off of it three-dimensional because it's got that foam core behind it. So this one's flat, this one's raised, and this one is on her wrist. So what I'm going to do with this fourth B here that I did out of cardboard, I want to try using wire to make it pop off the, off the image. So what I'm going to do is take a pencil and a piece of gold wire. This is just lightweight gold craft wire. And I'm going to wrap that wire around the pencil. And I'm kind of making a little spring out of it like that. 
So this side, I'm just going to take my fingers and I'm going to just make a nice little circle like that. To stick this spring on my bee, I'm going to put that flat circle that I created on the back side. And I am going to put just a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to put packing tape over it. You don't want to use scotch tape and you don't want to use um, masking tape. Scotch tape and masking tape won't hold up over time. So I either use clear packing tape or black electrical tape, a little piece of that, to hold on elements like this. Because this will be really sticky and this will hold in place. So you want it to stay put in your journal and you want it to last. So that's what I do is stick that packing tape over it. And I do have to go back on this side and trim it, but at least that wire is going to be stuck on there really good. And here's what it looks like. So I've trimmed away that tape and I've got a bee on a spring. So that's really fun and funky. And I'm going to use my magazine behind it again, behind my doll, to use my paper piercer to protect my desk. And I want this bee on the spring to be popping out from this, um, the hole in the beehive. So I'm going to poke a hole with my paper piercer. And I'm going to put the end of the wire through the hole. Whoop, unless you spring it across the room. Put that in the hole like that, and then I'm going to put some packing tape over the back. A dot of glue and some packing tape pushed way down over that wire is going to hold that into place, especially after that little bit underneath of glue dries. So there's my spring. And now I can just bend this a little bit. Like this. And twist it a little bit to have my little bee popping off the page. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. So look at that. And then when you close your journal, it's going to be flat, but it's going to pop up. So you're going to have a pop up bee. Is that cute or what? Love it. Love it. So it's these little details that I love to add. And so I'm using some wire that is kind of a blackish greenish color. And I've poked two holes in her little head. And I'm going to go in through the front to the back and get this about the length I want it to be. Hold it in place by pinching my fingers and then I'm going to feed that wire back through the other hole and out the front. Like so. Being really careful not to rip your paper because it is it is a paper piece. So now she's got, move this out of the way, she's got two wires coming out her little head here. And I'm going to take my my fine little long needle nose pliers and I'm going to grab it at the end of the wire and just twist it into a circle. I'm trying to make cute little bee antennas. Nothing cuter than that. That is cute. And this one's a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it shorter. And do the same thing over here. Just grab it on the end, twist it around. And then with it flat, just use my fingers to just twist into a little squirrely. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cute. 
It's just too cute. So now she has antennas. Cute. And then again, I can take some packing tape, me and my packing tape, and tape over that little wire in the back just to hold those little antennas up. Holds them in place. It really works well for wire. Trim off the excess tape so it doesn't show. And there we go. How cute. So to continue on with the details, I like to take Spectrum Noir Sparkle Ink. It's glitter ink. And it is a clear ink that has this really beautiful pale white shimmer to it. And I'm going to take that on a brush. And I'm going to brush it over all the little bee wings to make them sparkle. These are the details that I love. I love adding fun little details like this. These are the things that make it artsy. Artsy and cute. So now all the little bees have sparkle to their wings. Not sure if you can see that on camera, but they all sparkle. You can see it really well in person. And she needs wings because she's a bee or a bee girl. So I'm taking a piece of vellum and I'm going to put it behind her and use a pencil to lightly draw some wings that I can cut out and then I'm going to texture them. So bees don't have, bees wings are more rounded than butterflies. So I've got those and then I'm going to make a little second pair that are smaller and I'm going to overlap them. So that just gives me a general idea about the wings. So there are the vellum wings that I drew, just having her behind. So there are the vellum wings that I drew. I'm going to take a stylus. This is a stylus. It has a little ball on each end. One is smaller, one is a little bit bigger, and then this little rubbery mat. And I'm going to put that behind it. And I did this in another video for another art journaling page, so um, I'll find that video and link it so that you can watch that one too. But I'm going to just take my stylus and I'm going to just run that along these wings. When you do this on vellum, you can't push too hard or you'll go through, but when you do this on vellum, you get almost an embossed shape to it. And it's really pretty. Where you're pushing down turns white. You're texturing that vellum. And when you flip it over, you get that raised embossed image. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to make little sections like a bee wing would have. And I'm going to do that to all of the wings.
and here's what they look like on the back side. On the front side, when you flip it over, the flipped over side is the front side. So I'm going to take my scissors and where I made the pencil lines, I'm going to go ahead and trim out my vellum and I'm going to leave it all in one piece. It's kind of connected at the center. Here's what they look like all trimmed out and what I'm going to do is flip her over and I'm going to attach them in her back right in the center and this way her movable arms are not going to interfere with her little bee wings. So I'm going to go ahead and glue them into place. So here's what we've got. We've got movable legs that come out from behind her body a movable arm holding some flowers, another movable arm holding a bee that can be flipped either side, a bee on her hand, this little bee on a spring coming out from her beehive, and some bee wings and little antennas. So there are the fine details that I love to add to these kind of images and um, let's see, for me, I think she needs some eyebrows. This image did not have eyebrows because it was kind of an artsy magazine image. So I'm going to just add a little bit of eyebrows to her just to finish off her face. Oh, much better. I like the eyebrows. She needed eyebrows. And I think the last touch I want to add is um, I'm going to take some Nouveau Drops in yellow. This is dandelion yellow. I'm going to add them to the center of the flowers. And I'm going to, of course, put her aside and let her dry completely. So those flowers look really cute and realistic. And then I think my little bee girl is done. So the last step will be, will be, haha, because she's a bee. The last step will be for me to do an art journal page and I'm going to put her on an art journal page that I complete so I can show you what she looks like in an art journal because that is the point of making these is to have interactive paper art dolls in our art journals. So that'll be the last uh, video for this particular doll. And then I'll start another doll, so I'll be showing some other tips and tricks and ideas. But um, keep in mind that my dolls are for inspiration. You don't have to do exactly what I do. It's just to show you what I do, and then it gives you some ideas so you can play around with what you've got and be super creative and step outside the box. Please uh, feel free to join the Facebook Twisted Art Designs group and show us show us your paper dolls that you create, your paper art dolls. Um, the more that we all make and the more that we show, the more we're going to inspire each, inspire each other with different ideas, like, like the Bee on Wire popping up. That's a really fun and interesting idea that maybe you hadn't thought of. So show what you make, join the Facebook group, have fun, and I'll come back and show you a finished art journal page using this paper art doll. And then if you'd like, I'll continue on with the series and make more and show you more ideas. Some of you might feel that this is a little too advanced right off the get-go. And if you do, it's okay. You don't have to um, do these arms like I did. I could have left the arms all in piece just as they were cut out of the magazine. And... Um, I could have just glued them into place. They don't have to be movable, but it's so easy to glue them onto cardboard, poke a hole, and put in a brad to make a movable element in your paper doll, on your paper doll. So don't let the techniques scare you. Try that. Um, 
at first make one and just glue it together. So glue the legs in place behind the doll. Nothing will be movable, but create an art paper doll just as it is. Um, again, this was magazine image, so it was easy to find a face to use and um, create from there and to come up with the plan and the idea. The other uh, elements that come into play, it's something creativity. You have to just kind of step outside the box and play around with it. But try it. Try some of these techniques and you might find that this really is as easy as it looks. So until next time when I show her on a completed art journal page, thanks for stopping by and keep working on your paper art dolls.